everyone, welcome to Wednesday Comics. The, the Gauntlet. Gauntlet. I'm Garrett. I'm Alex. And we're here today to talk to you about six gems or six comics that we're looking forward to for the week of... June 19th, 2019. That is seven days after June 12th. That's how that's that's the math. Week. That's how the math. Uh, anyways, we're going to go over three comics that we're each looking forward to, and we're going to start with Alex. One of the best books coming out as of 2018 and 2019 is Middle West. We're on number eight this coming week. Uh, I am... I love this book. This... Is like a folklore folk tale. Uh, this book just has a lot of stuff going on for it. It's it's great art. Scotty Young knows how to write this book, and I I, I wish more people were reading it. Hopefully, yeah. it's getting good publicity. Hey, did you see that they were selling the shirts as well? Really? Yeah, the heart logo shirt. Be good. I, I wouldn't mind that shirt. I'd wear it instead of my uh, Adidas shirt. Anyway, my next book, Gideon Falls, number fourteen. We are in the second, no, third arc, third part, or like second chapter or something like that. Uh, great. Sorrentino art is top notch, of course. Alex word, top notch. And Jeff Lemire, of course, we're in year three, year four, who knows what year anymore of Jeff Lemire. Knowing how to write this book and gives you everything you want. It's a little horror, it's a little weird. Uh, put that together and you got a little weird horror. Hilarious. I know. And my last book, I can't even remember. It's Aquaman number 49. I haven't read 48. Had a big shark on it, got a little scared. I was in the shower and I, I, I didn't even clean my hair because I was so nervous. Uh, this is amazing, amazing. Started back on 43 with uh, Kelly Sue DeConnick. The art is spectacular. The writing is amazing. And it gives me that, that excitement of Aquaman doing a Pantheon type of thing. And actually, I think we're switching over to uh, whatever Jaws' mom's name is. Big Shark Lady. I don't know. All good books. Beluga. Beluga. That's a whale. Yeah, what do you got? Baby shark. Um, got Fair Lady, number three. Uh, what that book is, I guess I haven't really told you guys I'm reading it. I just have been reading it. Well, secrets it is, it's a fantasy mystery book where basically there is, each issue has a complete mystery in it, and it's in a sci-fi fantasy world mm-hmm. where, because they did the mock cover of Batman and Robin from Grant Morrison in front of the, the yellow cover with the oh, Batmobile. Yeah. There's one where they're going like this, and they're, uh, it's a buddy cop team. One's a big giant. Yeah. Bear or cat or tiger or something, like that, or some animal. And the other one, I don't know either. But I'm still trying to learn these people's names and like what they're doing, but it's fun because they're like legit mysteries mm. uh, in this world. I like that you can have like a little mystery book, and then there's like an overarching mystery, uh, mystery mystery as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, next, got Farmhand number nine, uh, the Rob Guillory orgasm, which is his writing and his art. Um, very. It's a dark horror comedy, I'd yeah, say. It's close. Um, so I mean, there's some family elements to it. There's some horror elements. There's comedy everywhere. It is just a fun book. It reminds me of Goosebumps. That was like maybe rated R, like, but like mixed like a uh, really good comedy. <laughs> <laughs> there's no good mix of like a yeah. horror and comedy. No, but I mean, it's, it's. I think I've said it every time when you read, it's like Chew. Where you just get those nice subtle imprints of here's some scary stuff, but hey, by the way, did you see that funny thing on that book that you're like, oh, cute. Yeah, it's like cheesy, and then there's actually some serious notes with a family history. Gremlins? No, I wouldn't be surprised. I guess Gremlins would be kind of funny at some parts. Especially when that guy gets stuck in the (laughs) chimney. (laughs) Um, And my last book is the big one we've all been waiting for, and that's Superman, year one, number one, written by Frank Miller with art by John Romita Jr., this guy is drinking some haterade over here. He doesn't like bit. Frank Miller or John I don't, no, 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 correction. I like Frank Miller, but I have read some shit from Frank Miller. But you've read some gold. And I've read some gold, Sin City, but... Yeah, that was in the beginning. Yeah, that was <laughs> like it. 20 years ago. So, mm-hmm. I'm hopeful. Uh, I think me, you know, me and Al read uh, Dark Knight 3, and that got a little rough on the end there, so... I'm Not hoping. as bad as the Dark Knight Strikes yeah, Again. Dark Knight Strikes Again is probably the worst thing I've ever read by him. Yes. Um... But definitely hope that in three issues he can tell a whole story that's good. Again, we'll see. It's, it's a stretch. I want to see that cover that he drew. He can't even get the S part of the Superman shield inside the pendant. The weird so. thing is, I actually enjoyed that one more than I liked. Really? Yeah. Dude. So I don't think I'm. For, I don't wise, think. I don't think I'm for this book. It looks like Superman is Clay Man. Um. So basically, Clay Man. It's like Man. It's like Clay, Clay Man. man. The he artist. Looks like he's an artist. Yeah, he looks like he's an artist. He's not an artist. Mm. Man is. Um, anyways. 
rough. <laughs> uh, anyways, that is six comics or six gems that we've been looking forward to this week. I'm Garrett. I'm Alex. And this has been Wednesday Comics, The, the Gauntlet. Gauntlet. Hey, everyone. Keep collecting those gems. <laughs>